So we're here today with our 2017 Organometallics Distinguished Author Lecturer, Professor Alex Miller from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. So first of all, Alex, uh, congratulations. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we're really happy to have you uh, as our Distinguished Author Lecturer this year. And we look forward to your lecture in Washington, D.C. at the ACS National Meeting. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I grew up in Boston and in high school we had, you know, chemistry classes and that, that was interesting. And um, it wasn't until I got to the University of Chicago and, and when I started there I was actually torn between philosophy or chemistry, <laughs> right? So not, uh, not your typical decision. And uh, what changed everything was when I joined Greg Hillhouse's lab and actually got in the lab running reactions with my own hands. And um, it was just you know, I, I caught the bug and, and didn't want to do anything else. I wanted to go, go to grad school. And, um, you know, from that moment, just sort of getting synthetic inorganic chemistry and trying to make really exotic molecules with metal ligand multiple bonding, um, you know, I wanted to be a synthetic inorganic chemist. And I went on and did a PhD, and, and it was in John Burkha's group that I um, sort of got more and more deeper into uh, organometallic chemistry. and. You know, all the way along the way, all my mentors sort of um, taught me different aspects of organometallic chemistry and um, parts of energy chemistry that, that sort of brought me to the, the kinds of you know, things we're looking at in our program today. Right. So Greg Hillhouse has this uh, ha has a great tradition of training undergraduates that have gone on to very prominent careers in, in chemistry. Can you maybe comment a little bit about what maybe was unique about Greg's lab and, and how he fostered this, this great tradition of organometallic chemistry among undergraduates, which I think is really remarkable. Yeah, I mean, Greg, I mean, he's unique in, in everything he did, really. And, and uh, his, his relationship with undergraduates was, was special. And um, he was able to um, sort of get, captivate us and, and keep us excited about chemistry. And, uh, I remember sort of having this feeling that everything we did in in the lab was, you know, n totally normal. You know, we're just going in and making another one of these low coordinate nickel complexes, and um, he sort of fostered that, um, you know, idea that there this was all typical chemistry and there's nothing special about it, and that you should expect it to work, and and everything's going to, you know, so work out okay. And it's, yeah, it's just built confidence yeah. and. Um, he brought people in at a relatively, you know, inexperienced stage, you know, right. freshmen, sophomores, um, and um, sort of brought them through a, a long-term research experience um, with, with full support and, uh, you know, just excitement and enthusiasm about right. inorganic chemistry. Right. Yeah. I think it's fascinating because it's obviously a stoic, classic molecule in organometallic chemistry, but it's incredibly important for energy science, and you're still discovering new things uh, with it. So can you, and, and I think another important aspect of this is that the part of the recognition here is for your 2016 organometallics paper on carbon monoxide chemistry. Mm -hmm. So can you comment a little bit about uh, how you got interested in this molecule and what you <laughs> hope to do with it and that sort of thing? Yeah, you know, so it's interesting. In graduate school uh, is really where I started carbon monoxide chemistry, and that was um, industrially um, sponsored work and, and sort of collaborating with BP through, through the uh, methane uh, mm -hmm. conversion cooperative. Uh, and, um, you know, again at, at UNC, uh, it's been through an industrial collaboration. So uh, this was a project that, that grew out of a, a collaboration between Eastman Chemical and, and UNC where, you know, both these companies use carbon monoxide, you know, all the time on a massive scale. And, um, you know, there's still all so little known about its reactivity and, right. and new new chemistries that we can develop with it. So um, it's really you know that dynamic uh, interacting with industry has really driven a lot of this chemistry. So and, it's problem identification. Uh, yeah. yeah, part yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, fundamental organometallic chemistry I think still has an impact on energy science, and I think your your research program really nicely illustrates that. So can you share with us a few of your thoughts on? on the interface of organometallic chemistry and alternative energy? Sure, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different ways you can imagine organometallic chemistry having a big impact in, in energy sciences. You know, one way I, I think about it is if you, you know, want to make a synthetic fuel, you know, from an abundant feedstock, whether it's water or carbon dioxide, um, a lot of these reactions involve moving protons and electrons around. Right. This is where it's good that organometallic still keeps metal <laughs> hydrides close yeah, to right. its heart. And, um, you know, so, so many organometallic metal hydrides are able to move hydrogen around and uh, put it in new places. And, and that is a key step in so many of these uh, solar fuels, 
right. uh, bond forming reactions. Right. And then of course, you know, one of the key outstanding challenges in energy chemistry is carbon carbon bond formation, yeah, especially right. if you want to make liquid fuels. And um, that's an area where organometallic chemistry, the community is uniquely qualified to make a big impact in right. that area. So can you tell us how you define success or celebrate success in your laboratory? Sure, yeah, I mean, it depends on what success we're talking about, but uh, a couple of traditions we have are, uh, first, when we get a publication uh, accepted, I round up all the different uh, co-authors that are, were involved in the paper, and we do a photo as soon, uh, oh, as great. close to yeah. that moment as we can, just to kind of capture the excitement of getting a new, new paper, and it can be hard if you've got remote collaborators that we need yeah. to Photoshop in. The other thing we do for um, second year oral exams is uh, celebrate with champagne, uh, but also the champagne of beers, uh, Miller High. Oh, nice, and nice. <laughs> so that's, that's been a fun No relation, as well. I'm assuming. No relation, yeah, yeah, yeah it's not. So, so Alex, it was great chatting with you today. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in Washington, D.C., and uh, certainly expect to see more great work in Organometallic. Thanks, this has been fun. <laughs>